Wallahi, the more that you keep your, the longer that you keep your children in this country or in secular education and state education, the worse it's going to be for generations to come. You have to educate and arm your children with knowledge. Knowledge of the Sharia. Knowledge of the deen. And that's why Hudayfa ibn al-Yaman said what he said. People used to ask Rasulullah about the good. I asked him about the evil out of fear that it may reach me. Teach your children how to refute atheism. You know, look, from the age of five when you go to school, the teacher tells the children, the earth is going around the sun. So the six-year-old or the seven-year-old looks at the teacher confused. Why? Because he's seen the sun rise in the east and set in the west. He actually sees it. Maybe he's been on a beach or on a hilltop and he's seen the sun go through the sky and sink beyond the mountains. So the teacher says, no, that's not happening. So he looks at the teacher confused. So he goes home, asks mom and dad, because they were taught that 20 years ago, the same thing. So they say, yeah, the teacher is right. So the child goes, okay. Every year, seven, eight, nine, ten, right up until he's 18, he's taught the opposite of what he's seeing in the sky. So when he's now a big man at the age of 22, 23, married, they ask him, what happens to the sun? He says, nothing. The earth goes around the sun. He disbelieves his eyes because of the indoctrination. Because of the brainwashing and the indoctrination of the education system, he disbelieves his own eyes. So when you tell him at the age of 20, he sits in a dars, and you say, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to Abu Dhar Al-Ghifari, he said, Ya Abu Dhar, Hadith in Bukhari, and in Muslim, Muttafaqun Alayhi, and it is reported in the Sunan, Abu Dawood, the Tirmidhi and others, Musnad Ahmed as well. Hadith after hadith after hadith, either the same wording or similar wordings. Abu Dhar said to, the Prophet ﷺ said to Abu Dhar, he said, Ya Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun settles and makes sajda? He said, Allah and his messenger know best. So he said, indeed, the sun rises and passes through the sky, travels through the sky, up until it sets in the west. And then it makes sajda under the arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then it seeks permission to continue. So then it continues and then it rises again in the east. In, the narr in a narration he said, and it will continue to do so making sajda under the arsh of Allah, under the throne of Allah, up until the day will come when Allah will not give it permission to rise. It will set, Allah will not give it permission to rise. So then it will seek permission to rise and Allah will not give it permission. And it will continue to seek permission and Allah will not give it permission. Then it will seek permission and Allah will give it permission and Allah will say to it, rise from where you have set. On that day, the sun will rise from the west. And whomsoever did not repent to Allah, then his repentance will not be of any benefit to him that day. Hadith. Then you have, then the Prophet Sallallahu after mentioning that to Abu Dhar, Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned the statement of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that, uh, that the sun travels up to its resting place. In a narration, the Prophet Sallallahu said, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala never stopped the sun from any, for any person except for the Prophet Yusha, for the Prophet Joshua. 
And it was for one hour of one day after Asr. For Yusha alayhi salam was about to conquer Jerusalem. And it was not permitted for Bani Israel, for the children of Israel, to fight after the sun has set. So Yusha said to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh my Lord, hold the sun up until we conquer Jerusalem. So we conquered Jerusalem. And then the sun was, was permitted to continue upon its journey up until it has set. So now you see with your eyes the sun moving. Now you have these hadith of Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. None of them mention that the, as some of the people ignorantly say. They say what it means is not that the sun will rise from the west, but rather the globe will stop spinning and start spinning the other way. That's what they say. The, the people of I'tizal and the modernists because they want to somehow bring together the narrations and they say actually what really happens is it is the earth that's spinning so on the day when the sun rises on the, uh, on the west or from the west, the earth will spin the other way. Is that what the Prophet ﷺ said? He said, rather the sun will rise from the west. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when the sun was stopped in the sky, Allah did not, Prophet ﷺ did not say that Allah stopped the earth from spinning. He said that he stopped the sun from moving. For Yusha alayhi salam. And this is the point of, of indoctrination. That even that which you see with your own eyes, they will tell you it's not true. You see the sun rising. You see the sun traveling up until it reaches its zenith. Then you see the sun setting. And they tell you, no, it's not happening. You say, okay, it's not happening. Why? Because they told you it's not happening. And how many things have they told you? Subhanallah. Just in the last two years, how many things have they told you? How many things they, have they told us throughout our lives and they've lied and they've deceived? If that which of anything that opposes the kitab and the sunnah, then it is rejected. The call of everyone, as Imam Malik said, everyone's speech is accepted or rejected except for sahib had al-qabr except for the companion of that grave, pointing to the grave of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So it is rejected. And they say, oh, but they're going to think you're mad. Well, that's what they said about Rasulullah. Alhamdulillah, we're in good company. That's what they said about Rasul. That's what they said about the Anbiya and the Rasul. Oh, they're mad, they're majnoon. They think they know science. We're telling them that the, that the earth goes around the sun. And the sun is in a fixed orbit and the earth goes around it. Why? Because they want to make the earth insignificant. If the earth is insignificant and it is just another planetary body of no significance, like a speck in the universe, as they say, of no significance, all of them just orbiting this star called the sun, then that makes this earth and the people upon it insignificant. And that makes the messengers and the prophets, the ulul azam, min rusul the ulul azam min rusul the firmly established or the firm or the or the, or the, or the messengers of firm resolve, it makes them insignificant, and it makes the best of Allah's creation, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, insignificant. Why? Because they want to make this earth insignificant. What's the what's the important thing in the solar system? The sun. That's the important thing. So they want to make some, give something ta'zeem that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not. Allah gave this earth and favored the people of this earth and made this earth and that which is in it subservient to the inhabitants of this earth. Question what they say to you. That's why you find, as I was saying to a a distant relative of mine the other day, he's, I said, do you, where do you send your daughters to school? He said, well, I send them to the, uh, to, 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 actually, he sent them to private school. Private school. I said, what do you do about Islam? He said, well, 
We used to have a man who used to come and teach them Alif and Ba. Qaida Nuraniya at home. I said, that's it. He said, that's it. I said, how old is your daughter now? He said, 15. I said, do me a favor. He said, what? I said, go home and ask her where she comes from. Where humans come from. So he started looking at me. I said, what do you think she's going to say? She's going to say what she was taught at this private school. Humans come from monkeys. Your Muslim daughter, I said, Allahu A'lam, your Muslim daughter is going to tell you that because that is indoctrination from the age of six to the age of 16. Children are made to believe in the Big Bang Theory. Children are made to believe in this nonsense of evolution. Because we're not paying attention. So it is no wonder that Muslims in Britain are becoming atheists. Not in Muslim countries. Very rarely in Muslim countries do Muslims become atheists. And when they do, they send them to Sweden or Canada. They say, you can take the Majnoon ones has occurred actually in Pakistan and Afghanistan years ago. They said, uh, someone came out, he said, oh, I'm an atheist, I don't believe in Allah anymore. So they said, well, the hukum shari'i upon you is execution. So then there was an outcry by all of these humanitarian organizations. So they said, okay, they can appeal. So they appealed and then the judge judged that he must be mad because only a madman would leave Islam in a Muslim country. So then they said, you can take him and they sent him to Sweden. In these countries, Muslims are becoming atheists. Muslims are becoming, joining this LGBT movement and going on gay pride marches. Protect yourselves and protect your family.